Good afternoon, everyone. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com, and welcome. Welcome to a SPY update here. We're doing a market call today. Uh, I called the market very early this morning bullish, and then at some point, I don't remember the exact time, I saw that the market was going to do it today, like actually make a new high. I think this is, the market's going to make a new high today. It's still early enough for it to do it. The only way we don't is that we run out of time because the market's not coming in today at all. So I did say this in a live webinar I did last week on Thursday. It was on Thursday, the day that the market actually had a red bar. And everybody that gets excited thinking the market's coming in, people that were in longs killed them, people that went into short the market shorted it. They looked at this as a lower uh, high in the market, and people shorted this. Okay? And it was a, it's, it's a terrible way to trade. Okay? Terrible way to trade, and it has absolutely no meaning or significance here. The next target for this buy is 188. Then the next target for that is here, from 188.50, and then it's 189, and then after that it's 190. Is there a chance we get to that today? Yes, absolutely. I think we actually do get to that today. And if we don't, we gap up tomorrow and we run tomorrow. I just can't see any way that isn't happening now. So the market is definitely set. It's set. It's set itself. It's, it's called a set. Okay, it's set here in the daily chart. Here's the market. Beautiful. So I called a couple of longs here today in the market. <clears throat> I called this here. I was doing my own trades in the morning, so I didn't call the aggressive long, although I said the market was long. You, could have, you had, would have had to do it yourself. Um, but I said the market was long. I called this here. This is in play. And I call this here. This is in play. And, and here it is again. I mean, basically, the market is set. It's higher. So once the market gets up to this area here, people that shorted this lower high, the second lower high, the way that people were looking at this for the confirmation of the entry to go short, which was a terrible thing to do. And people did this trade here then, and the market, when it gets over here, it's going to blow over this. And then that's what's going to lift it up to here. And obviously some people shorted this. I mean, you can see that some people shorted this. You cannot trade against the trend. You do have to learn how to read charts. You have to learn how to read longer term trends and I'm very good at doing that. Why? Because I know how to read price and why am I good at reading price? Because I know how to read gaps. The fact that I've taught myself how to trade gaps so well has helped me read charts because gaps tell you what's going on in the price of a chart. Not every gap is a good gap. Some gaps are nothing gaps and some gaps are good gaps. This is a bullish gap that's happened here today in the market and it's real. It's a gap up. It's a gap up on the eight period moving average into a buy setup. A gap up that's in a bullish market in the first place and that was always going to make new highs and I was shocked, shocked and surprised that the market did not have a massive green day somewhere in here. I mean I expected the market to have a massive green day somewhere in here meaning large which we have not had. And we are going to have, and, and, and it, it, it could actually be today. I mean, it actually could be today. I said this morning, actually, before we even opened, that there's a chance that it could actually do that today. And that if it doesn't do it today, it's going to do it the next week. Because when the market actually does make a new high now this time, this next time here when it does it, whenever it is, whether it's today and tomorrow or whenever it is in the next week, the next time the market does it, expect it to be massive, meaning blow, blow higher, go and convincingly just run through all the shorts, stop all the sh people out that were trying to short this market that they thought was extended, which it is not extended and was never extended and should never have been shorted. And when I gave the webinar last Thursday, I actually told people, do not short this market. And I know people did. So, you know, honestly, there will, uh, there's always two sides of a trade. I was doing this last night. I was talking in the webinar. There's always two sides. There's a winner and there's a loser. There's a winner and there's a loser. The bulls, the people that read this market correctly to the bull shine are the winners. The people that wanted to short this are the losers. The people that were long, that read it right, but lost conviction and killed their longs, may have killed their longs with a loss or may have killed their longs with a profit, but they're going to miss out on the payday here when the market blows over the high because the payday to the upside, when this market gets up over the high, the next time it hits up over the number, which is 189, the payday is going to be massive to the upside. And if you couldn't hang on to get into it, if you couldn't, if you lost conviction, if you couldn't hang on to wait to get paid for the blow higher, then you're going to miss it. You know, so important to read this right. If you, if you were in long and you got scared and killed your longs, you're going to miss out on getting paid. 
if you shorted this, you 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 should uh, you don't even know how to read trends, right? I don't know what to say. You can't just take something that does a lower high. It is not the right way to trade. There's absolutely no strategy there to do at all. There is a zero strategy. Today is actually working in the market for two reasons. One, the market is in an uptrend and never was not. And two, the market did a bullish gap up today, which was a good one. So the market's along. And, and we have to see here if we run out of day. But it's 12.07. <laughs> I mean, it's certainly early enough here. The market only has another $1.50 to go to hit 189. That's like a sneeze ball for the SPY to rally. Low here in the SPY today was 186.50. So ready, run a dollar, and you got four more hours to go. The market could very well run another dollar, dollar fifty until the end of the day. And if it doesn't, we're higher tomorrow. Unless for some reason we gap down in some form or fashion, but I don't see that happening. Eventually people will believe. And I'm gonna put I'm gonna put one thing out there. If for some reason this market closed right now, like pretend it was like right before the close here, people would actually consider shorting this again as a as a third lower high. It's I, I know that people would, and that would be so incorrect to do. Like if pretend this was right before the close, pretend we don't go any higher than this today. We are still strong and we're gonna make it over here and continue. People would actually consider shorting this, and that's just the wrong thing to do. And because I know I know what people are doing. I actually know what people are doing. I know what people are doing that are in the opposite direction. I see what people are seeing. The fact that I, that's another reason why I can call this so well too, because I see what people are doing. Here, here it goes. Here's the market. Here is the market. Look at this. Over 75 is a new high. Here it goes. Right here into 12 o'clock major reversal time. So because I see what other people are doing, the bad traders, the stinky ones, the ones that are losing, I see what they're doing here. I can see what's going on. But it's really reading the overall larger term direction, what the institutions are doing, which is what gives me the real read on this thing. But then also seeing what traders are doing that shouldn't be doing stuff like this helps me to say, oh, yeah, there, there, I can see what's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? And that helps you get conviction. It does. And it helps you actually follow through and hold a tree that might have a red bar like this. Look, look at how it got reversed. It got completely 100% reversed into a sandwich right here and is pennies from making a new high. 187.74. Right here at a great time of the day. So beautiful, bullish market. I really honestly think that there's a chance that the market could make a new high today. And if it doesn't, it is set itself up to do it in the next week. So there it is. It's 12.09 on March 18th. Very bullish market. Spring of this year. Spring is here this week. And the market is very bullish and has set itself up here to go higher. If you'd like more information on how to read charts or read gaps or if you want to learn how to trade from me, I'm doing a class this weekend, March 22nd and 23rd. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. And here's the market over the high. Ten more cents. And, and seriously, 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 there is a chance the market could actually get up and make new, brand new highs today. Beautiful chart. Here it goes. Look at this. Here. It's just going to go boop, right here, right up to the 188. Let's watch it. <laughs> this is power. This is power buying. Beautiful buying. And then the shorts are going to get stopped out. Woo! Over the number of 188. Here it is. Look, beautiful. When this does it, it's going to go poop. Really nice. So for those of you that did my market call here long today, you are getting paid. And I said to everybody that did this, try to stay with it. Try to stay with it to the bigger target today. I mean, this is one of the days you'd want to try to stay with this to a bigger target. Of all the days you'd want to hold something to a target, you would want to at least hold a portion of your position in this to the dream target. Dream target on the SPY today is 190, 189 and then 190. And it's a dream target, but it is definitely in sight. It's very early here for the market to be doing this here. It's very early for the market to be getting up to 188. Okay? Really good read on everything here. Again, you know, it's possible for people to learn how to trade well, but you do have to decide that you really are willing to learn how to do it. No one is born a good trader. It's impossible. It's insane. No one is bored good at trading. 
you have to learn, and it's a skill set. It's a skill set that can be learned. It takes everybody a different time frame, depending on how committed they are to learning how to do it. But the rewards of trading, of trading well, are far outweigh the process of learning. It, it just does, okay? Because it's a wonderful job. You can work from home. You have an unlimited amount of income that you can make. You're, you're in control of yourself. You don't have a boss. It, it's a great, great lifestyle. So, you know, you have to put some work into it, some effort, take a class, learn, you know, learn the skills. But it's so worth it, okay? This is Melissa with the thestockswish.com. Have a great day, everybody. 12.15 here on March 18th, Tuesday. Gap class this weekend, March 22nd and 23rd. There is a potential for the market to make new highs today. It's a beautiful thing. Stay with the trade, those of you that are along the spy. Let it run, run, run. Run like the Dickens. Have a great day, everybody.